What's up, ladies and gentlemen, Richard Murray here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you are doing well. This video is all about swimming, how you can improve your swimming. If you're new to swimming or you're thinking about getting into swimming, hopefully this video will help you. I'm going to go through kind of all the basics. This isn't an advanced video, so the advanced video or how to swim faster video will come in the future months and future weeks, so stay tuned for that video. But we're going to go through the five most important things I think you need to do to improve your swimming. There are pretty simple things to do, but when you go ahead and you just head to your local swimming pool every single day sometimes you don't think about kind of the finer things and how you can improve and how you can make your swimming a more enjoyable experience so we're going to go through those five things key intro okay three two one feet together jump yep <laughs> I head through now to the five important things that I find is really important to improve your swimming. The first thing I find important for swimming, perhaps uh, you might not do all of these in this order, but um, go ahead with number one and try and find a swimming coach. So if you're getting started with swimming, swimming by yourself is number one, extremely boring. And number two, you're going to lack motivation sometimes when you go and swim because you'll have nobody to go to join you. Perhaps you might have a friend every now and then that might come and join you for a swim. If your friends might want to swim, I highly doubt that. But it definitely takes some time to get used to it. Uh, and yeah, it's great to have a swim coach. So a swim coach doesn't need to be an expensive coach. You don't need to go and spend uh, millions of dollars on your swim coach. Although if you do have millions of dollars, swim band and a swim coach, go ahead and do that. You really want to try and you want to go and get a good swim coach, somebody that you know, somebody you might trust, maybe if someone's friend that coaches or somebody you have a connection with. It's always good to have somebody you have a good relationship with as well, and somebody you might have known over the years, perhaps even. And this is definitely going to help you with having motivation, having focus, having a drive. It definitely really helps when you have a coach that will set you a training program for the week. You have that motivation as well because uh, you've got to go and get your sessions done. Somebody's watching you, making sure you get your sessions done. Uh, and yeah, somebody to, to give feedback with. So after your swim, if you come back and it was a horrible swim and you didn't enjoy it, you can tell your swim coach and he'll probably ask you why. And it's great to have these conversations, start the relationships with a coach. And yeah, if you had an amazing swim and you said, man, I feel good today, you can go and tell your coach. You know, you can tell your family too. But if you tell your family too much about your training, sometimes it might get a bit much. So coach is there for you, which really, really does help. On to number two. Second important thing I find important uh, in swimming is having a swimming environment as well. So you can get a swimming coach online, but if you go ahead and you get a swimming environment or a swimming squad to join, if your local swimming pool, perhaps a triathlon squad as well, if you're a triathlete, it's really, really good to join in a squad. And uh, this squad will then obviously give you a lot of insight and knowledge. Maybe there's better swimmers there as well. You can watch them under the water. There's that nice sneaky peek when, when you're just swimming and you, you kind of do a stroke and you're watching the rest of the people swimming in the swimming, in the swimming squad. This one is very good. You can pick up some good tips like that, actually, when you watch other top swimmers swim. So if you can every now and then go in, perhaps go and watch some other top swimmers go and uh, watch some things online. There's some amazing, great things online you can go and watch as well. Things like Swim Smooth. Um, there's a lot of different techniques and things out there. So definitely go and, uh, you know, purchase some of some of these things and uh, have a look. See, it'll definitely help you improve on the long run if you know what you should be doing when you go out to go and swim. On to number three, I think one of the, the, th the third most important thing as well, consistency. I always find that consistency is extremely important. And to be consistent, uh, having a coach from the number one step is really important. That coach will then give you the, you the idea of the weekly training program. From this weekly training program, you'll be able to be then more consistent. So try and go in, whether it's perhaps once or twice a week when you're starting out swimming. So if you're new to swimming, don't go ahead and try and swim every single day. You might be really motivated to try and go and swim every single day. But just remember that you want to try and have a long-term approach to this. Don't go ahead and just 
smash out a whole bunch of swims and then get over it. Try and kind of give yourself a good six month to a year type idea plan that you're going to go ahead with. And this will really help you be more uh, consistent and be more motivated into kind of the first week doing one or two sessions, maybe after the next few weeks, perhaps two, three sessions towards the four or something after a few months. And once you get that consistency of the swimming going, it becomes so much easier to get out the door, go to the swimming pool. You have the plan, you have the idea. It's like having a business. If you don't have the fundamentals of it set down, it's going to be very difficult to achieve the goal in the end when it comes to becoming a better swimmer, becoming a faster swimmer, enjoying your events, going out to do triathlons, all those things. It'll help you so much when you are consistent. Fourth most important thing when it comes to swimming is technique. Obviously, you want to build out when you're starting swimming. You want to just go ahead and do the fundamentals of having the coach, having the environment, being enjoyable. And then you want to focus on things like purchasing more equipment, perhaps, and looking at technique specific stuff. So with your coach, some coaches will obviously be able to do underwater swim analysis. So if you have a place where you can go and you can do underwater swim analysis, that really does help someone with a camera, perhaps get one of your friends with a GoPro or whatever it is under the water to film you or the coach might have his phone, a lot of cell phones nowadays or waterproof on a selfie stick, jam that in the water. Take a look at your swimming technique underwater. It really is good to know what you're doing. Uh, perhaps compare yourself to somebody else or compare uh, your technique to somebody else. Remember, everyone's technique is slightly different. There's not one technique that fits everyone. If somebody tells you to go ahead and do this or go ahead and do that, perhaps go and listen to your swim coach. Your swim coach with a better knowledge of swimming will be the best person to speak to when it comes to learning about your technique and how to improve your technique. Remember that also technique takes a long time to change. You want to try and at the start of your swimming career, you want to try and implement those good swimming technique or good habits at the start when you start swimming. If you swim for a couple of years and you try and change your habits, it is very, very difficult to teach. I wouldn't say an old dog new tricks, but you know what I mean. So it's good to try and set those, fundamentation, those, those uh, fundamentals of swimming and your technique at the start when you start as a swimmer. And once you work that technique with your coach, you can then focus on the small fundamentals and twice a week, perhaps work on your technique. So go into the pool with the idea of having a shorter swim session and focusing just on that technique. You want to swim a bit slower here. When you're doing technique swimming, you don't want to try and go fast. To try and do technique and to try and swim fast and do your technique at the same time is extremely difficult. So try to do some fast, try to slow it down a little bit, focus on perhaps the front end of your catch of your swim, the push through, use those muscles, you interact, you're kind of connecting with your biceps and uh, your lats, and you want to kind of end up using these muscles in your swimming session, not your arm, not your shoulder, not twisting too much, but you'll be able to work through that with your swim coach. But I think it's quite important to go ahead and work on your technique when you have time and when you and so the last one number five la ultima if you are spanish and watching the channel is to have goals i always say that having a goal is quite important um if you don't have the goal set in place whether that's going to join your local swimming race or it's going to go and swim straight for 10 laps in the pool whatever it happens to be go ahead take a pen and paper write it down what you want to go and do and then stick that piece of paper on your forehead no don't stick it on your forehead stick it somewhere on a fridge stick it on a wall stick it on a wherever you want to stick it that's up to you but have a look at that goal every now and then so that you can physically see it every now and then it really will help you to stay motivated if you see your goal every now and then as well so whether it's on your phone or wherever it happens to be put that goal in visual sight so that you can every now and then take a look at it it will help you stay motivated and it'll help you when you have those tough days. So when you're when you're tired from swimming or when you're tired from work or whatever it happens to be and you have to go and train. If you have that goal set in mind, you'll be more motivated to get out the door to go and do that in the sight of having that long goal available. And if that goal perhaps gets cancelled, who knows what's going to happen? Set another goal. Set another goal. Keep on setting those goals so you can keep on turning it over. Otherwise, you're going to get stale. And that isn't great for anyone. So have those goals. Have some fun. Swimming is tough. That is the fact of it. No one's going to lie. If you don't spend enough time in the swimming pool, the next time you go back, it's going to be hard. And that's, that is swimming. So try and keep consistent. Good connection with the coach. 
have some fun, enjoy the environment, set the goals. That, that is all of it. I hope you enjoyed. I don't know why I'm speaking like this, but I'm going to go with it because why not? Thank you, everyone. Thanks so much for tuning into this video. If this did help you, that is great. Please smash that like button on the way out. It'll help so much for this channel, the algorithm. Thanks, everyone. Till the next time. Cheers. Peace. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Bye.